last time on Dongon Rumba. Yeah. What? Uh. <laughs> no. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh my good lord. Even Hagakure? Really? Really, Hina? Even Hagakure? And now... Hello! It is I, the Nugget. Back with more Danganronpa. Hope you all enjoyed your Mother's Day weekend. If you do that sort of thing. Either way, we're back. Last time, I was wrongfully convicted of a crime. Well, allegedly wrongfully convicted. Is that a double negative? I'm pretty sure I didn't kill anyone, as in Makoto. But, maybe, maybe when he was sick. You know when you're in a fever state and you kill people? I always do. I mean, I don't. Either way, the trial's over, and we were convicted of killing the 16th student. And now we're down in the trash room. So, uh, yeah, I guess I live here now. This is where I die. Anything cool down here? Maybe I can find a gun and make this faster. That's a rocket and a tank? Why is just that visible? Everything else is like, <laughs> you know those images where it's like what you see when you're having a stroke or something? Everything looks like that except that one rocket, I guess. It's a rocket and a tank. Oh, no, that's a tank. Never mind. Better not think too much about what I'm seeing down here. Not at all. I don't want to, you're not even a big here. Is that a plane? What are you putting down here? I guess the ultimate pilot must have went to the school. Is that an airplane? <laughs> How'd something like that wind up in the school's garbage bin? Obviously, they were guilty of a crime. Huh. What's that? A chair? Oh, that's a desk. This is a desk. It's probably the one that fell down here with me. Huh. Alright, well. Let's try the door. Rattle, rattle. It's locked. Rattle, rattle. Now, how many times I push or pulled or kick at it, it didn't budge. Use your muscles. Get out of here is going to be that easy. Well, if I'm not getting out of here anytime soon. I decided to look around for some food. I think they put food down here. There's plenty of food here, but it's all rotten. Oh, easy. Know what you do? You start working out now. In about three months. You just need food for three months. Get to Sakura's level of strength and then kick down the door. That was pointless too. Next, I search for some water. Maybe there's piss or something. I'm not going to be sure which liquids I can drink and which ones are an all-around bad idea. Again, pointless. I feel like I'm blocked in on all sides. That's still not enough reason to give up, because, because I'm still alive, goddamn right. As long as I'm alive, I'll never give up. You have to prove yourself innocent. These wrongful charges, I will prove them otherwise. Because, you know, this is a very fair game where I will be able to prove my innocence. <laughs> After making that proud declaration, the next thing I decided to do was, does that mean, does that mean Monokuma killed the 16th student then? I mean, right? But why? Why would they... Why? Why? And then convict a random person? Maybe just to progress the game? Like, uh, I don't know, Monica was like, yeah, they're probably not gonna kill each other anymore. I guess I'll just make something up. <laughs> and that's what you do on a TV show. When ratings are going down, you gotta get something going. Go to sleep. No, don't go to sleep, you'll turn to a murderer again. My sleep was deep and uninterrupted. That was my only way to preserve what little strength they had left after not being able to eat or drink. Can't be sure, but I think at least a full day had to have passed. Jesus. All I did was sleep and sleep. You have to pee and put that in your ass and, you know, get back some... <laughs> like, liquid... What's that called? An anima? Something like that. It's like I was waiting for some kind of sign to come falling out of the sky. However, what fell from the sky wasn't a sign. Not exactly. Good crunch. 
What the? Oh, yay, more food. Thanks, Malakuma. A strange sound pierced my silent isolation, jarring me awake. As I watched, the pile of garbage jostled and formed an odd shape. Did something fall down over there? Wait, like something alive? Uh, reveal yourself. Something fell from up above. What could it have been? It looks like a pile of garbage. Is it moving? Did a giant piece of trash just fall down here? You are in a trash room. Carefully stretch my hand out toward whatever it was that tumbled down here with me. Hey, at the very least, there's not like knee deep water with some creature underneath. Just and a Star Wars What? What? Kyoko? <laughs> a giant piece of trash. Rude. Before she even emerged from the pile of garbage, I knew who it was. Uh. It smells awful. It is a tragedy. What are you doing? How did you even get down here? Did you flush yourself? What? Kyoko? Okay, whatever. K Kyoko? You look like you're doing better than I expected. What are you doing here? So... Isn't it obvious? I'm here to help you. Really? I feel like I'm here because of you. I guess we didn't really have a choice between the two of us. I saw what happened when... Oh god. Ugh. To think Hagakure spawn would... Gives me chills. I'm glad to hear that, Kyoko. Uh, you wanna... <laughs> A little something on your head. Also, I don't, I don't know what the plan is. You're just down here with me now. I guess we can repopulate down here. Um, you got a bit of garbage in your hair. She gave her head a quick, sharp shake to get rid of the trash and faced me again. Hey, first, I have something for you. Go ahead and eat it. We can talk once you're finished. Water and bread. Don't we have a whole kitchen filled with, like everything? This is the best you can give me? I'll take it gladly, thank you. Thank you. I snatched the bread and water that she was holding out for me, then seconds into my mouth, making its way toward my stomach. Whew, that really hit the spot. I love bread and water. Now I've got all the energy I need to keep going. It's only been a day, Makoto. You can survive a day without eating. So you still haven't given up then? Of course not. After all, the fact that I can keep going forward is about all I'm good at. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not such a bad thing to be good at. Hey, now that we're down here alone with no cameras, do you mind, you know, giving just a just a brief, the briefest of explanations of what's going on? Please, please, Kyoko. I don't know what's happening, Kyoko. But Kyoko, why'd you come to rescue me? So... To pay a debt. Or, no, to atone. I didn't get you killed. I may as well come and die, too. Oh, thanks. Atone? You... During the trial, even though you knew I was lying, you didn't say anything. Well, that's only because I saw the vision. <laughs> so, you knew that I knew. Indeed. But even though I knew, I did nothing to help you. I... I abandoned you. Don't say that, you didn't abandon me. Uh, she did a little. I mean, I don't think... I don't think she knew that Chihiro would save me, right? I think, I think she really did sacrifice me, expecting me to die. No, that's exactly what I did. I banned you in order to save my own life. Yeah. You were trying to save me, and I couldn't bring myself to do the same for you. It's, However, I'll, I'll get over it. I'm, yeah. <laughs> you try to kill me, well, you sacrificed me, it's, it's okay. I, I forget easily. But listen, I thought I'm trying to make excuses, but... There was a reason that I had to survive, no matter the cost. Yeah. Why'd you have to survive? It's true. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. Finally! Finally! This is just all I've been waiting for for like three cases now. The reason I have to survive In other words, is so that I can do what I came to do. I came to this school to do. At uh, what? I made up my mind to come to Hostby Academy for one very important reason. React. So you some reason we're coming to OSP. Indeed. Does it involve going to school? That's right. At least I did. Once. Once? I... Until recently, I'd forgotten what it was. You did mention that, yes. You forgot, but that's... I had no memory of what my purpose was. No memory? That's impossible. You can't... You can't do that. Amnesia is not a thing. <laughs> Amnesia? God, why does everyone get amnesia in these games? It doesn't make any sense. 
And it's really true, you lost your memory. Makoto. Do you remember Makoto? Do you remember the first thing that happened to each of us as soon as we arrived at the school? I remember being gassed, and that's it. The first thing. You're talking about when we fainted, right? I fainted, and when I woke up, I was trapped here. That's right. I fainted too, and when I woke up, I noticed a strange feeling of separation within myself. Disconnect. But, <laughs> uh, interesting. It would seem... Thinking back on it now, at that point my memory was gone. At that time, I would forgotten. I couldn't remember why I'd come to the school. I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. But what would make you forget all that? And why only you? Because everyone else remembers ultimate ability. Why, why would you be here? Why would you even be put here if you... If, like, your ultimate ability was something that needed to be hidden? Just kill... If, Monokuma just killed you and had the game with 15 students. This would be... He would win. <laughs> I'd be stuck with Tagami. Hey. He's smart most of the time, but also not all the time. Strange, isn't it? It's hard to imagine it happened by chance. It seems much too convenient. Are you saying you think you lost your memory because... Indeed. I don't think. I'm positive it was the work of the mastermind. They stole my memory. Yo, okay. Uh, how? <laughs> is, this, is this just some technology that exists? Is there superpowers? Are they the ultimate mind eraser? But why would they want to do that? Maybe they just hit you in the head really hard. There's only one reason to get caught up with. Because of my purpose and my ability. Somehow they would interfere with the Mastermind's plan. Also, just because she forgets her ultimate ability doesn't... doesn't disappear right <laughs> like if if you made hina forget she's the ultimate swimmer she doesn't just forget how to swim so that's why i just stole them from you however it could also mean somehow my memories may be connected to the mystery of the school and the mastermind that that's more likely which is why i have to get them back that's why i've been investigating things by myself this whole time but if what you say is true why didn't you ask the rest of us to help you why is that if I did that, we all, and we all worked as one, the Mastermind would have noticed right away. Plus, there's always a chance that the Mastermind is actually one of us. Yeah, like Hogger Curry. I knew it. What? Correct. Well, don't make too big a deal of it. It's just a possibility. But since it is a possibility, we can't ignore it, right? The Mastermind? One of us? One of us. If she believed that, then of course she couldn't trust anyone around here. What about me? I bet you're still mad about that other time. In which case, it only makes sense that she would look into her missing memory by herself. However, that being said, there was a limit to what I could do by myself, which is why I asked you to help me. But why me? <laughs> because among everyone, you were least likely to be the mastermind. That was just my intuition, but... <laughs> oh, well, guess what? Joke's on you. This was all a trap. I'm the mastermind guy. Uh, I see. <laughs> Should I take that as an insult or a compliment? I'll just take it as a compliment. Thanks, Yoko. Your decision was right, though. There's... No way an ordinary kid like me could have been the mastermind. No way. Wouldn't that just be the ultimate twist in one of these games? It's like, you're actually you're actually following the, the POV of the mastermind the whole time. Crazy. I understand. You do? I should understand. Oh god, this is your other self. Not again. Makoto, please. Get it together. Goku, did you bring down schizophrenia pills? Get out of here. Yeah? It's... To stay here. Don't listen to the voices. Gah. It's just like the dream I had before, but why did that just happen? Listen. You're losing it. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, it, it's nothing. I just see another version of myself just standing in the corner, speaking to me, telling me to do unthinkable things. It's my intrusive thoughts. It is nothing, right? Yeah, probably. Hey. Even now, I still trust you, you know. Aw, oh, thanks. It just, I'm not used to relying on others. Correct. I know I never asked you for help the right way, so I understand if you're not convinced. Honestly, I was convinced. <laughs> it takes, it takes very little. Listen, I just want to be friends, okay? I think that just her personality. Alright, well, we're both trapped down here. Uh, got any plans? She had a reason for doing all the investigating on your own, so how'd that turn out? Were you able to remember anything? So... I think there's still a lot I don't remember, at the very least. 
I was finally able to recall my purpose and my ability. Uh, of everything you've seen up till now, I'm going to guess detective or something police detective related. You mentioned your ability. I... My ability, what everyone should have known me for. I'm the ultimate detective. Yes. So, I mean, <laughs> I I'm still call I called it, but it, I think it was pretty obvious, right? Just how easily she was. She would basically take command of every case and knew everything about dead bodies. It's kind of, you know, the ultimate detective. Correct. And the reason I came to Host Peak Academy, there was someone I had to find here in the school. It wasn't me. The long lost, I don't know. You had to find someone? Who? So... Well, it was the headmaster of Host Peak Academy. The headmaster? Why'd you want to find the headmaster? Because he's my father. Oh my god. It's a Vader moment. Uh... Is that... Okay. I mean, okay, headmaster doesn't mean they created the school, right? I'm just wondering about that. Uh, what does that mean? I'm just trying to think deeper about what this could mean. I mean, she's adamant that the headmaster isn't the mastermind. I guess she knows because he's her father. Okay. All right. Well. Let that stew for a bit. What? In other words, I was separated from him as a child. As it turns out, he became the headmaster of Hope's Peak. Damn. Kyoko's dad is Hope's Peak's headmaster. Huh. Then that explains what Alter Ego told us how he thought the headmaster was involved. I. I'll find a way. Huh? huh? I. No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. No matter what? No matter the cost. So, um, Kyoko, what's going on? You need a hug? I... My memory hadn't come back at that point. Oh, when he said that, I felt strange. It makes perfect sense now, of course, since my whole purpose for coming here was to find him. Is this person still alive? That makes However, sense. But listen... <clears throat> but listen, Makoto, I want to make this perfectly, perfectly clear so there's no misunderstanding. I said that head, Headmaster wasn't the mastermind, but I didn't say that to protect him. I only said what I felt based on what I'd seen when I stuck into the Headmaster's room. Then, what did you see in there? So... The room had been ransacked, the shelves were a mess, the desk drawers dumped on the floor. The only conclusion is that someone who didn't know where anything was had been in there. Like, whoever... Yeah, the mastermind. You mean the mastermind, right? It's true. That was my assumption, yes. To confirm my suspicion, I decided to investigate the second floor of the dorm using the key I found. But why there? Because I also found this in the headmaster's room. This is some kind of map? Like the layout of the school? Mm -hmm. The layout of the entirety of Hope's Peak Academy. I found it in the headmaster's room along with Makuro's profile and that key. The map, the map showed that the second floor was home to a number of rooms meant for faculty use. Some of the staff must have had to stay overnight from time to time. And I figured the headmaster would have some kind of private room there. For okay. I assumed that if that were true, the room would likely hold more clues, so I went to check. Correct. And that's when I finally remembered. I remembered that my purpose was to find the owner of that room. So you went there to see if the headmaster really did have a private room there. However. But once I got there, I noticed that the second floor of the dorms didn't have any cameras or monitors. At Huh. So, what was it like, the part of the school, I mean? It's hard to describe. All I can say Hi. is, the moment I saw it, I realized. Whatever's going on in the school is more horrific than we ever imagined. Yeah? <laughs> I mean, it's pretty horrific already. What do you mean? So... I can't explain it. You need to see it for yourself. I'm sure you'll get your chance soon enough. Are you sure about that? I'm about to starve to death. I don't think it must be important. It's really ominous. Oh wait, you have the key, don't you? Oh, we can get out of here easily. Uh, good thing Monokuma didn't come and kill me, stupid idiot. Uh, do you have anything more? 
However, of course, once I got to this, yeah, there's a yeah, yeah. That's why I had no idea what was going on in the rest of the building. Okay, it has to do with Makuro Kisaba, doesn't it? However, just to be perfectly clear, I didn't kill her. I assume that. Well, I, I a little, a little, I was a little suspicious. Okay, just just a little. You understand though. You understand. You tried to, you sacrificed me. I get to suspect you, but I guess you didn't. And I know it wasn't you either. No, I actually did do it. So, uh, so, yeah. I mean, unless, unless there's some crazy twist where some of the other people, or one of the other people alive is the mastermind, like Hagakure. That means Monokuma killed Makuro for some reason. My guess would just be to progress the game. I know you're right, but that just means everyone but you and me had an alibi, so then who did kill her? Anyway. What I can say for sure is that the mastermind is directly involved. To begin with, the point of the class trial of Makuro Kasaba was to get me killed. Okay. Get you killed? Indeed. I stole that key and disappeared, and in retaliation they wanted to draw me out and eliminate me. <laughs> wow, so they just framed a murder around you. Crazy. Correct. That was the point of the class trial. It was? Eh, you suck, Monokuma. You got me instead, loser. Mas the mastermind knew they couldn't interfere directly. You mean because of the school regulations? That's right. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna go through all the trouble of setting all this up just to get someone killed, you're already not being fair, right? Who cares at that point? Just make up an excuse to kill Kyoko. Are the viewers really gonna get that angry, Monokuma? With no minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hosby Academy at your discretion. In other words. Oh. Huh. Unless some in some way Monokuma, or whoever's controlling Monokuma, is also bound in some way by the regulations. Like if there's someone maybe higher than Monokuma, Monokuma's just running the game. Or something like that. Mastermind is adamant about following the rules, and with that rule in place, they couldn't step in. I mean, they could, they just didn't. Since they couldn't kill me themselves, they tried to use the class trial to do it. And that worked out perfectly. Mastermind couldn't step in because of the rules. That makes it sound like Mastermind themselves is somehow bound by the school regulations. Yeah, see? God, I was thinking just like me. God, we're the same person. Hey. Except when you're having a fever dream and killing people. I, that, that's not me, that's you. <laughs> There's one other thing I'd like to point out about the murder of Makuro Kisaba. What's that? There's a point where Makuro may not have become the victim. What? There was a point where Makuro may not have become the victim? What does that mean? It could have been you, Makoto. Oh. Oh, you mean when she visited me in my room with the knife? <laughs> I could have been become the victim? Indeed. You know what I'm talking about, right? Do you mean... Yeah. So I guess she planned to kill me and pitted it on Kyoko, but Kyoko intervened, so Monokuma killed her instead? During the night. I. I can hear them, you know. <laughs> what? <laughs> the footsteps of the god of death. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? <laughs> Wait, who's crazy right now? What? <laughs> I can hear the god of death as he moves. <laughs> the ability naturally draws me to cases just like this. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> uh, you know what? I think I can get out of here by myself. You know, you, you do you. Anyway. Which is exactly what happened with you. I was in the dorms and I had a sudden sense of dread. I looked down the stairwell. I saw a white shadow across the corridor. Are you sure you're not the ultimate? like death seeker or something <laughs> i gave chase right away as i followed it i saw the shadow go into your room good, good thing you didn't lock the door again you stupid idiot i'm sorry i was sick i ran into your room and i saw what was happening i interviewed immediately of course however that wasn't the end of things of course i stopped them but that led to whoever the mass ceiling was they ended up dead correct how do you stop them? Did you, did you just use ninja moves or something? Ran away? 
and the murder was disguised in the dojo cube wound up in my room. It all has to be the work of the mastermind, an attempt to use the class trial to eliminate me. So all this would mean that whoever killed Makuro is also the mastermind, right? Indeed. I don't have conclusive evidence, but that's what I think. It's really bad if true. It means the mastermind can kill whoever they want if they feel like it. I wonder... I wonder why Makuro would work. I mean, they, like, Monica McCall, there's a 16th student, right? They're also trapped here. Why would they work with the mastermind? Maybe, I don't know, maybe they just promised something? Again, not fair at all, Monokuma. This game is stupid and rigged. Wait, but doesn't that create another contradiction? The mastermind wanted to use the class to try to kill you because they couldn't interfere, right? Correct. You're right, that is a contradiction. And it's not just Makuro. They needed the, they needed the class child to kill me, but seemed ready to kill you in your room. Everything they did is a contradiction. So, what does it all mean? In other words... It means that the mastermind is the one who's been cornered. Huh? Makoto. Just a little more. A little more and I should be able to figure out the mastermind's identity. I mean... The identity of the other ultimate despair. What do you mean other? There wasn't a first. <laughs> right? Can you explain that? Why are you, Why do you call the ultimate soldier the ultimate despair? The other ultimate despair? There's no doubt that Mc... Oh. There's no doubt that McCurl was the ultimate despair. That she's dead. What? It makes you... Why? What? But I don't think the ultimate despair is just one person. It's not? Indeed. If you think about it, the ultimate despair seems to implicate whoever caused that event. You're talking right. about... What happened a year ago? The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. You really have to say the whole thing. <laughs> uh, and also, could you explain that event? Because I don't... The tragedy. I was responsible for that. You're the ultimate despair. That despicable group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. And they're... Indeed. Make no mistake, they're the root of all the evil that has forced us to go through this. So, that is that is the ultimate despair. So, it refers to a group? Then, uh... So, does that mean it's possible that whoever's, like, hosting this game, they're just, like, members of this group? Like, the ultimate despair refers to a group made up of just different ultimates who are insane. And that is our real enemy. Chapter 5, 100 Mile Dash, Pain of a Junk Food Junkie. The end. Still six students. To be continued. Yep, I'm not going to make the joke yet. It's more only half an hour and we're going. Oh, a dildo! Receives the Dream Island rocket. <laughs> How do I fit the whole rocket? Can I give it to as a gift to someone? Alright, I guess I'll save. Oh my god, I'm so happy we're getting oh so <laughs> the ultimate despair. I'm so happy we're getting answers. Or well, some answers. A group of people who caused a tragedy one year ago. So yeah, it's group we still don't really know what the tragedy is except a bunch of students died those same people put together this killing game and began broadcasting around the world they also did that the most desperately awful group of people ever that is the mastermind's true identity our enemy has finally been revealed well <laughs> i think revealed is a bit of a strong word but right now anyway right now we have to get out of this horrible place Figuring out the rest of the story can come after. Yeah, you're right. That's it? Nothing more? Koko, do you still have that one thing? Monokuma's secret tool that you got from the headmaster's room? Indeed. Of course I do. It's an absolutely vital part of ensnaring the mastermind. I would never part with it. Oh good, we can get out. I hope Monokuma doesn't just instantly kill us as soon as he sees her out. And it can open up any door in the school, right? That's right. That's right. And we should be able to use it on the door, right? I don't know, give it a little kick. Hey Kyoko, we can use that key of yours to open this door, right? It's true. Let's find out. 
it just doesn't work. I'm like, oh shit, I guess we, <laughs> I guess we're fucked. <laughs> well, get comfortable, Makoto. We'll be down here for at least a week before we starve to death. Dude took out the key with Monokuma design and slid the key. And then, click. Yes, it opened. Let's go. Indeed. How can you get out of here? Let's go. Sounds good. Weekly opened the door and made her escape from the garbage pit. Finally. We were finally free. What? Uh, I think that's a little premature. <laughs> there wasn't even time to take a breath of relief because the real fight had just begun. Chapter 6. Ultimate pain, ultimate suffering, ultimate despair, ultimate execution, ultimate death. <laughs> is that is that the group? Ultimate pain? I want to be the ultimate pain. After leaving the garbage pit, we found ourselves in a tunnel extending straight up like a chimney. There's a metal ladder leading up into the tunnel. We started climbing the ladder, intent on reaching the surface. Nice. Nice camera angle. <laughs> eh, at least they added a shadow. This is, this is a corpse party. The ladder was impossibly long. I couldn't even, uh, I couldn't even see where it ended. We climbed into darkness. The passage was so dark and crammed, I couldn't even see my own feet beneath me. I had no idea we were so far down. Don't lose your footing. If you slip, I won't be able to catch you. I'll let you die. Yeah, I'll be careful. Don't look at my ass. Now, but now that you said that, I'm getting kind of nervous. Maybe talking will help keep my mind off it. Um, so Kyoko, there's something I wanted to ask you. You said you're the ultimate detective, right? So how long have you been doing detective work? How long? So... Ever since I can remember. I come from a long line of detectives. Detective work is in my blood. There was a time when being a detective was considered a sacred duty. My family's always seen it that way. The, what? Why did your father become a headmaster? <laughs> then is your family famous? Wrong. Quite the opposite, actually. Even among actual detectives, many people haven't heard of us. Huh? But how come? It's like your family tradition, right? So... Right. Because we take pride in it. Like, work, working in the darkness. Like, they're like Batman. The ultimate Batman. Pride? Indeed. A detective is neither light nor shadow. We represent neither justice nor evil. That is how we can uncover the absolute truth. We stand neutral in all things, and to do that, we have to stand separate from the rest of society. Which is why we've made a conscious effort to conceal our existence. A conscious effort. God, you do. You just sound like Batman. It's true. It's kind of old-fashioned. I can't say it's entirely rational. But it's our family creed. And we do what we must to protect it. Because, like I said, it's our source of pride. Pride. So that explains... Before I came here, when... What? Before I came here, when was looking up info about the school online. I think they've got an eye there. Or saw anything about her. Because she hid herself on purpose to protect the pride of her family. Oh, how'd you get invited to the school then? <laughs> oh, I guess... I guess if your head, if the father is the headmaster, he could have done it, I guess. However... And yet, I gave up some of that pride. Huh? I... In order to enter Hope's Peak, I had to reveal myself to the school. Oh, okay, never mind. I didn't know it was something a true Kirigiri detective would never do. But the reason you give up that pride, the reason you would go so far to enter Host Peak, is because that's how much you want to reconnect with your dad, right? There's no shame in that. Why would... Okay, why'd your dad leave, then? What? Reconnect. No, I came here to kill. <laughs> I had absolutely no desire to reconnect with my father. Huh? But you'd be reunited after all those years, right? You would have had so much to talk about. Wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? Thanks for leaving me, Dad. Because of you, I had to come to this dumb school and, you know, meet a stupid bear that made me play Death Game. Hate you, Dad. God. Nothing I want to talk to my father about. However, there's something I want to say to him, though. I want to kick him in the balls and leave. <laughs> what? I. No matter what it takes, I have to find him and tell him face to face. W what is it? So. I want to sever all ties with him. Sever? I mean. I feel like you're already at that stage. You could've just given him a call or something. The last time I saw him, I was still very young. So I don't remember myself, but apparently he was extremely intelligent. He was in line to become the next head of the Kirigiri family. He was talented, he had a promising future. However, but he had no interest in detective work. So he'd cut himself off from the family. Not long after that, my mother died and he simply ran away. 
He went to my grandfather and they had a huge argument. And young as I was, he left me behind. Uh, I'm sure there was a reason for that. I'm sure your dad wanted to take you with him. Right. If that's true, then I need to thank him. Thank him for leaving me. Because unlike him, I take pride in the work I do. I take pride in my family name. So every last part of me is happy he didn't take me with him. If I had gone with him, I never would have had the chance to become a detective. I was above Kyoko on the ladder, so I wasn't able to see her expression. Uh... Oh. I feel like oh, there's going to be something deeper there. A reason he left her behind. So I couldn't tell. I couldn't... I couldn't see how she looked when she said that, what she might have been feeling. All I could tell was that, compared to her usual self, she's more talkative and more emotional. I... I don't blame him, you know. He had his own life to live. That's what anyone in my, in my position might say, right? But it's not However... true. But there's one thing, one thing I can never forgive. Really? So... The way everyone else looked at me. I was never sad about being left behind. Like I said, I think it was a good thing. However... But when the rest of the family looked at me, they saw something different. They only saw me as a little girl that was abandoned by her father. That's how they see me even to this day. Hi. Maybe they're watching me right now. Oh, I guess they can't. There's no cameras. Well, you know, I don't know. Prove them wrong. <laughs> his shadow had been following me my entire life. I'm sick of it. An email my life. I need to step out of his shadow. <laughs> Imagine abandoning your kid. And then they show up, like, 18 years later, like, I don't ever want to see you again. Stay out of my life. <laughs> I was already doing that. Correct. That's why I have to find him and tell him we're no longer family. In order to settle the past. In order to remove him from my life forever. I have no doubt he forgot about me years ago. But but your family, to just cut him out like that. I mean, he kind of did it first. Wrong. Our only connection is through blood, nothing more. I'll rip out my blood and then there's nothing left. I reconnect by heart and soul. No. Hey. Is blood really enough to call someone family? Only connected by blood and not by heart or soul. I was so shocked to hear her say something like that, I didn't know how to respond, and I fell. So instead, I said nothing. Finally. Oh my god. You were you you were like the first person I hung out with, right? Like just god. Like five hours into the game. I just wanted to learn more about you. Finally. It just took all this time. I just kept climbing the ladder in complete silence. After I don't know how long, we finally reached the top. Is this? Is this? Oh! I think I know where this is exactly. This is the panel in the garbage room, right? On the first floor of the dorms? Just that hatch that's always locked on the ground in the garbage room. Looks like this is it. Indeed. Isn't it? Lock though, with the like a padlock. On the other side of this door, Host Peak is waiting for us. I mean, <clears throat> on the side of this door, Host Peak is waiting for us. We're back. We're back, bitches. That's right. Remember that hatch on the ground near the trash room? Yes. God, I'm so smart at remembering. It's <laughs> my greatest feat. <laughs> I remembered one hatch in one room. Yes. I'm fairly certain that's where we'll come out. There's also cameras in there, so I think we'll be spotted instantly. I unlocked it earlier, so it should open without much trouble. Oh, good thinking. Well, here goes- I mean, well, here goes nothing. Reached my hand up and pushed against the hatch. The hatch opened with ease, and so... Here we are. I knew it. Looks like we're back. <sighs> but I can't believe how long the ladder was. I'm exhausted. Can't exactly say we're safe and sound, but at least we're out of there. Now we're back in Hothby Academy, much better. Kyoko, thank you. I never would have gotten out of there without you. I also would have not gotten in there without you, but you know, I forgive you. No thanks necessary, I was just returning the favor. All right. Why is the camera point, oh. Are we on camera? The camera's pointed at the Dana over there. So now what do we do? I'm glad I didn't die, of course, but the mastermind finds out. <laughs> I want to go say hi to everyone. <laughs> Watch them all freak out. Like, hey, guys. I just fell. I'm back. Good to be back. I didn't kill anyone, I promise. I'm worried about you, too. You held me, so they might. Listen. You're worried. Yeah, of course. So Friendship. 
Let's just get a concrete answer. Huh? In other words, Let's ask Monokuma if there's a problem with you escaping. Uh, technically, just not any rule about it. Wait, wait, that's... However, if you try to hide, it's only a matter of time until we're found out. It's not like we can run away. I mean, there's not a single rule about if you survive your execution. So, yeah. I mean, if he's bound by the rules too, what are you going to do about it? As she said that, she pointed at the nearby surveillance camera. So you're saying rather than stressing out over getting caught, we should just give up now? Don't worry, what do you think is going to happen, is it? Because, because the mastermind is the one that ensnared. The mastermind is ensnared. You said something like that before. What does it mean? So... The mastermind stood exposed during the investigation into Makuro's death. There was a moment where the mastermind let their guard down. There was. <laughs> when? <laughs> right. If we can talk to Monokuma, we can confirm it. It'll be better for us if we go to him directly before he tracks us down. That should help with our negotiations. I'm still a little, no, super uneasy about this. But really don't have a choice, do we? Indeed. Take the lead. What a, I don't, I'm lost. I'm a lost boy. Monokuma should be in the gym. Shall we go? Let's get going. All right. Well, I want to say hi, everyone. Can I go knock on their door? <laughs> hey, guys, I'm back. I guess it's nighttime. They're probably asleep. Ina, I'm alive. Shall we go? We need to get to the gym to Monokuma. I want to say hi. Fine, God. Hopefully, no one sees me. They'll think they saw a g -g 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 ghost. Is it? Wait, wait, hold on. Is this second floor open yet? Of course it's not. Is it ever going to be open? I guess we can go there now with the key, but, like, normally, is it going to be open? I would spend my Monokuma coins, but something tells me I'm not getting any more free time. <laughs> I feel like we're in the we're in the end stretch right now. Which, I, I wonder if it's going to, is it going to end with a trial? I mean, it has to, right? But who, right? Is someone else going to die? I guess we. Well now, well now, well now, well now. I guess we could still technically point out that Monokuma was probably the one that killed Makuro. But but then what? Oh, but I guess if Monokuma is also bound by the rules, like he's just the host. If we prove that Monokuma killed Makuro, maybe Monokuma will be punished by the the higher ultimate despair. Or something. Oh, hey, 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 hey! How did you get out? God damn, I should have just went down there and killed you. There's no cameras down there. I could have just done it. Kyoko, I don't mind so much. I but Makoto's supposed to be dead. It. What's he doing here? Literally, I was literally trapped down there for a day. There's no cameras or anything. Everyone already assumes I'm dead. You could have just came down and killed me. But you're a fool. Exactly how I thought he'd react. Really gonna be okay? You were supposed to be punished. Did Kyoko help you? What? So what if I did? What will you do? Sing. If the guilty party is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. It's unfortunate, but that is the rule. So now I gotta punish you again. But this time I won't leave anything to chance. Uh, Kyoko, help. <laughs> do whatever you feel you have to. What? Kyoko, please. I don't have no. <laughs> Not uh, again. Not like this. But before you do, let me just say one thing. No, if, if you execute Makoto, that means you lose. Not that that matters to you, right? Huh? Oh? I lose? Hey. You explain yourself. What do you mean by that? Because... Well, you set up this latest class trial yourself, right? I was getting in your way, so you wanted an excuse to kill me. In other words... I was supposed to be chosen as the black end and then executed, right? And then Hina was supposed to give birth to three children. Including the hog curry, baby. God, that future terrifies me. Hey, what are you talking about? However, but when Makoto chose to overlook my lie, your plan came crashing down. The results of the trial weren't at all what you were expecting. Because you never imagined that in that position, one person would protect another like that. Right. And in response to that unexpected development, Indeed. you reacted by proclaiming Makoto the blackened and trying to execute him. You made, you made the choice out of desperation. No, more than that. 
You must have realized that Makoto, who refused to be manipulated, was a threat to you as well. Damn right. I'll knock you out. Fair. However. But then there was another unexpected development waiting for you. An entity that would throw a wrench, so to speak, in your precious execution machinery. Chihiro? Alter ego? You never imagined the possibility of being that could come to our aid even after you Am I wrong? That you killed you killed Chihiro twice. You killed Chihiro and Alter Ego. And he still caught in your way. You suck. Chihiro's better. Now here's the absolute truth. Makoto didn't kill Makuro. You did. You yeah, you, you little bear self. Listen to me. So executing Makoto for it would surely be a violation of your rules, which I know you love so much. If the black end is exposed, they alone will be executed. That's what you told us, right? Hmph. <laughs> and that means I lose? I'll just make up a new rule. Monokuma can't be the black end. If Monokuma is convicted as the black end, <laughs> he gets to choose who el someone else to be executed in his place. And the game continues. New rule. Take that. You talk a big game, you're saying the black end is me and not Makoto. Well? And you can prove this, right? Wow. Yeah, I'll put another trial. <laughs> no, I can't. Don't just say it like that. At least bluff. <laughs> what is this, a comedy routine? Make such a bold claim without a shred of evidence? That doesn't matter. I don't have any right now. With a little more time, I guarantee I'll find some. That's right. Because no matter how deeply you try to bur bury it, there's only ever one absolute truth. <laughs> and now you're trying to talk like some kind of famous detective type? Because... If Makoto really was the killer, he never would have come to you willingly like this. I mean, I was... I'd kind of get dragged along anyway, so you know. <laughs> he would have feared for his life, feared another execution. He would have tried to run and hide. He would have been gripped by the despair you love so... You so love to inspire. However... But here we are, confronting you with nothing but hope in our hearts. What the heck? Yeah, hope, hope, hope. That's what I have right now. Ho oh. ho! Supposed to be enough to convince me in the absence of evidence? Indeed. It's not you I'm trying to convince. Hey. If you were to execute Makoto now, everyone out there watching this would be extremely displeased. Yeah. You think in Survivor? Imagine if someone doing this in Survivor. <laughs> like, come on, host. I forget his name. Vote me out right now, I dare you. The people will riot. Huh? Indeed. Imagine what everyone out there would think if you killed Makoto. I mean,. Hopefully that wasn't a, you know, a lie. <laughs> they would assume that you killed them because of what, what we said is exactly right. Think about the ratings, Monokuma. The ratings would plummet. You rigged the game. No one would watch it anymore. Listen to me. Despair can never kill hope. Mm. Oh, you little. You know my ratings are <laughs> my greatest weak point. Hey. Of course, you can say we're just making this all up. You're welcome to prove us wrong. No, you have no choice but to prove it. Because if you kill Makoto without proving your own innocence, you'll be accepting your own defeat. Oh, 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 oh. No one will go to Disneyland anymore, Monokuma. Can you take that? If you want to earn our despair, fair and square, we have to do. then I suggest you take my advice. So, what is this advice of yours? It's true. To do Makoto's trial over again, only this time, you follow the school regulations to ensure a fair trial. It's time for one last showdown. One final battle. Okay, you go. In despair. Yeah, say it. She said it better anyway. <laughs> hey. Well, that would make for a proper climax, wouldn't you say? A fair trial, one last showdown. In other words, this would be our last chance to expose the true identity of McCurl's killer of the mass mind himself. Yep. So, last trial is going to be McCurl again, but actually finding the truth. And then I get convicted again in the next game. <laughs> but what reason would the master have to accept the challenge? They'll probably just execute me without another word. No. No, he won't. Because the ratings. The ratings, Makoto. Ho 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 ho. Interesting. I, I think. I feel like. He. Or the mastermind does have to follow the rules, right? Because of probably probably not like the, the head head, right? I feel like they're just the host of this game, putting on the show. And someone might be a little angry if 
they uh they put on a bad show. Barrett. Oh, Barry, interesting indeed. Barry. What's wrong? Oh, I was getting bored, so I decided to change things up a little. It's time for bear jokes. Didn't you used to do that? I feel like you did that in chapter one and then stopped, and now you're doing it again. Now, what you're suggesting might be possible. It would surely make for one honey of a climax. In other words, does that mean you accept? You guys! If we do things your way, there'll be enough to convince you and the viewers, right? It would cause you unbearable despair, right? And I'm pre I'm prepared to greet your charms. <laughs> will your hope winner? Will your hope win out? Will my despair claim victory? I can barely contain myself. Let's have one finally grisly showdown. He agreed. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God those ratings, though. And we still have a shot at this. Barrett! But this is a long away climax, right? Just guessing the killer's barely fitting in. I mean, even if we win, right? What happens? Monokuma executes himself, or at a higher power executes himself, and we just get let free? I feel like uh, our hopes are a little high here. We're putting a lot of, you know, trust into will just be let free after this. You guys! So for this final face-off, the art on Earth, all the mysteries that have been buried here. All the mysteries? What? You can't... <laughs> you can't Coraline me. You have to find your parents and the kids. Oh, No. I'm just finding out your identity. That's right. Every last mystery that's fine around the school. If you can do that, can barely contain that'll be myself. enough to qualify as a victory for you. It's true. Oh, what? Koala's not a bear? Right? What? How's that a bear pond? Koala's not a bear, right? Am I crazy? I'll have to look that up after. <laughs> That's what we've been trying to do all along. <laughs> okay, well, good. Then let's bear it all. If you can claw your way to the truth of McCurl's death and solve the mysteries of the school, guys. then you win. <laughs> like, if you can't do all that, well, I'll face execution, right? Okay, I can barely contain my excitement. <laughs> also, just opting everyone in for this. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? I didn't agree to this. I'm still killing someone to get out of here. Oh, shit. I skipped the back scene. Sorry, Mom Kuma. I'm sure it was, I'm sure it was very important. <laughs> uh, anyway. We're excited as you are, I'm sure. Listen to me. When we've uncovered every last truth, how will the ultimate despair reveal their own despair? I also can't believe how this was all, has all turned out. Hey. I mean, it, I guess it just all comes down to how deep this is. How deep is this rabbit hole of, you know, the ultimate despair group. But before we get started, I want to clarify one more thing. Do you remember the rule? When one student kills another, that's when a class trial is held. What's wrong? I remember that for sure. So what? Hey. I just want to confirm that is what you said, right? And it's a true statement. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have to be so suspicious. I've said it before, but it bears repeating. Everything is based on the school regulations. And having a trial from a curl is no exception to that. Huh? Curl's trial is no exception. And part of the regulations? I mean, what 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 are we trying to say? That I think I did the whoever's controlling Monokuma is a student, I guess. Honestly, I've kind of been assuming that. I just figured they were some crazy ultimate ability person. Which would have to mean that whoever killed Makuro... <laughs> oh, that's a very polarizing approach, I know. Okay, enough puns. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but this killing game began with 16 participants. All of them high school students. Okay. And the only people to take a single step in host peak since the killing game began... Those 16 students. Huh? Oh. That's... Oh. Oh. Huh. So if Makuro was working for the Mastermind... That means there is another person. Wait. So the Mastermind... The mastermind is actually someone who's alive right now. Oh my god. Am I right? Is it gonna be Hagakure? I feel like out of everyone who's still alive right now in the group, it would be Hagakure, right? 
he's the most unlikely. Everyone else has their like their little quirks, right? He's he's just been the most useless one so far. He's had nothing. He's just been there in the background, always watching. Hmm. Very interesting. What? Listen. Are you telling the truth? Why do you go quiet all the time? Or he could just be lying. <laughs> I'm talking. I have nothing left to say to you. So I get lost, would you? Why is he? Why are you mad? He seems emotionally unstable. Hey. Leave me alone. Get out of here. Okay, I'm going. I just, you're really gonna let me go? Are you sure? <laughs> like, look, I'm asking. Are you sure? You could say no and still kill me. You know. You're really sure? Just think about it a little more. You could just kill me. Oh, I don't even care anymore. You're all gonna get your punishment later anyway. Just start getting it ready. Super duper extra special punishment over four with a spare. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Alright, bye. Come on, Makoto, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Alright, bye. Weirdo. Makoto's unstable laughter seemed to cling to us as we walked away. Just like that, we were out of the gym. Alright, so I guess we investigate? I could hardly believe it, but somehow I ended up not getting executed. I stalled my life, but we still had a chance. Are you sure? You could just go back in and ask him, are you sure again? Overall, things turned out way better than expected. Yeah, once again, I was in Kyoko's debt. Yeah. You know what? Uh, you've, like, saved me. Technically, with the amount of trials you've solved so far, you've saved me, like, five, six, seven times. I guess one sacrifice isn't that bad. Kyoko, thank you. Everything I have right now is because of you. However, Don't thank me just yet. The field battle's still ahead of us. Yeah, true. Ooh. But still, I'm glad it worked out. I wasn't sure if the enemy would accept my proposal. Honestly, I was, honestly, I was expecting you just to be killed. But honestly, why would the mastermind agree to that? I mean, they don't stand to gain anything from a final shutdown, do they? So. That's what I'm saying. I don't think they have a choice. They had no choice but to accept. Huh? Because. It's all because of that one moment that the mastermind let down their guard, like I said. What? What do you mean? So, when was it the mastermind let their guard down? So. I wasn't there to hear myself, but do you remember what the mastermind said? They said that. They had hijacked the airwaves to broadcast their school life to the outside world, right? They did say that, yeah. Yeah, they definitely said that. Listen. What did you think when you heard that? Pretty hard to believe, right? Yeah, a little bit. I feel like if it was being broadcast to the world, someone, someone would figure out where we are. Well, I mean, the idea of actually taking over the airwaves seems so unbelievable. Also, yeah, they're saying he took over all airways. Like, if you just turn on the TV <laughs> on any channel, this is what's being played. I feel like the Super Bowl would not be having it. Indeed. You don't exactly read about something like that happening very often, so it's hard to imagine. In other words, that kind of thing is extremely difficult to pull off. Maybe they have the ultimate hacker in their However. Group. And yet somehow the Master was able to do it. In other words. But think of it another way. There must have been some reason they had to do something that difficult. Uh okay. A reason? So they had to show the world something, no matter the cost, us killing each other. They wanted to show the world. I get I mean it doesn't really seem like a reason to show everyone, right? And if you want to have a killing game, just show like just, just take the squid game approach. Get a bunch of dumb people, put them in a the game, kill each other, and then have rich white guys <laughs> watch it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It can, rich any people can watch it. Rich people. I'm inclusive. I wanted to show the world. It would seem... The mastermind has been very adamant about not killing us directly, but forcing us to kill each other. And all the rules and regulations were designed to encourage that. Yeah, that makes sense. If those stupid regulations didn't exist, nobody would have killed anybody. In other words, so the Mastermind's ultimate goal was to make us kill each other and shell that off to the world. But why? Correct. To prove a point, most likely. Prove a point? Hey. The outside world has a name for the students of Host Peak, right? A certain concept. We're talking about hope, right? 
That's right. And for the and for those of us who represent hope to kill each other in sickening despair. The Mastermind wants the world to see that, to try and prove that despair is better than hope. That that's their goal is the ultimate despair. What? They want to prove that despair is better than hope? I mean, feel better, stronger? I don't know. What do you hope to gain from doing this? But that's that's ridiculous. It's true. You're right, it is ridiculous. Completely irrational. It's the kind of thing that nobody but those who call themselves the ultimate despair would devise. So they're just a group of psychos, basically. That group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. But is that really their only reason for making the rest of us suffer? Makoto. I know how angry it must make you, and yet... That same motivation is what led to the mastermind revealing their weakness. What? In other words. <laughs> oh, I, no, what? I don't understand. Keep explaining. <laughs> As the girls broadcast this killing game to the world, the mastermind has had to be more particular than is reasonable about their own regulations. If the mastermind simply ignored the rules, this wouldn't have been a game, but a one-sided slaughter. At the very least. At least that's how those who are watching this would have seen it. Sure, yeah. And that's why the mastermind couldn't kill any of us kill any of us themselves Indeed. that is precisely the reason no matter how much they may hate what i'm doing i haven't violated a single one of the regulations junko broke the rules so she was punished but in my case they couldn't lay a finger on me right so instead they tried to use a class trial following all their proper rules to get me killed <laughs> i like <laughs> i like how I think that's like the third time they've shown Juko getting stabbed. She just pops up just like at random times <laughs> through the game as her getting stabbed again. Like, oh, please stop stabbing me. <laughs> stop showing me getting killed. <sighs> uh. They began a trial that didn't have the right answer. They made me out to be the killer. And even that didn't work. It's true. Yes, thanks to you. And due to that failure, the mastermind took yet another risk. They attempted to kill you instead, who also was not the killer. And when that fact was exposed on live TV to the entire outside world, the Mastermind had to accept her suggestion. Indeed. To prove to the world that despair is better than hope, they have to defeat us in perfect form. In other words. But only do the Mastermind harm to have it shown that they'd violated their own regulations. But if all of that was a hunch, right? But all of that was a hunch, right? And you were still able to get the Mastermind to accept your challenge? However. Well, it's only thanks to you that we got the chance. Because you believed in me. Another path opened up. Yeah, I'm so, I'm so smart. Don't worry about what I picked first. <laughs> Still, I can't believe how much of the Mastermind's thoughts and plans you were able to figure out. I didn't have the slightest clue. Wrong. In the end, though, I couldn't prove any of it. It was just my reasoning. Essentially, I was making a bet. <sighs> I was just guessing. It looked like I got it right. This time, at least, I won the bet. She let a quick sigh. She gives a small sign of relief. <laughs> To be honest, I haven't been that nervous in a long time. <laughs> you were really just expecting me to die, weren't you? I totally couldn't tell you were nervous at all. You seemed totally confident from the moment you decided to go talk to him. Hmm. Well, presenting a strong demeanor is a fundamental part of negotiation persuasion, when you say? <laughs> I like, you like being praised. You get all smug. <laughs> Plus, if I'd shown my uneasiness, that would have just made you that much more uneasy. Yeah, because I wasn't already shitting myself. Yeah, you're probably right. How pathetic. However... Anyway, we can't relax just yet. All we've done is earn another chance to fight. We have to win this time. Correct. Our everything we've gone through will have been for nothing. You're right. We can't defeat the mess, mine will cost us our lives. There's no option except to win. Hey. But before we begin the final battle, we have to tell the others what's going on. True, but now we know who our real enemy is. All we have to do now is work together with everyone to destroy the mess, mine. Yes, that has worked out so well every other time. Also, I'm, we were just told that someone alive right now is the mastermind, so, uh, you know, work together with everyone. However, is that really possible? Huh? Anyway, Anyway, right now we have to go find the others. Shall we go? They're probably in the dorm somewhere. Shall we go? Yeah, I mean, someone, one of them is. Unless it's me. It's probably me. I bet it's me. It's the mere hog curry. Those are the biggest twists. <laughs> But anyway, I'll have to leave that for next time. We've been going on for pretty long. We finally getting answers. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. We actually learned about Kyoko. We're in a final showdown. We're actually reaching the end of this game. Maybe we'll even see the end. <laughs> I should just quit right now, right? I'll be I'll be the YouTuber that gets the end of every game, like the last part, and then quits. 
it'll I don't know, it'll just be my quirk or something. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this part. Please leave a like and a comment if you did. And I hope to see you all next time. There will be next time, I promise. Until then, bye.